these are two people that I really enjoy. I think they're both really talented. Azalea Banks and Maddie Healy unfortunately got into a heated exchange on Twitter today. Last night and today. I think it's still going. I don't really know. It's hard to follow. But they're both incredibly eccentric and opinionated people. And I appreciate them both for that. So... Let's just go through this historic moment together. It all started when Azalea Banks, in reference to Charlie XCX, said, Charlie used to be so pretty. Ugh, I swear, them West Hollywood gays be having the girls questioning themselves. Meanwhile, they all scraping K off a cookie sheet, eating cold bossa nova and sharing panties. So basically her point was that Charlie XCX used to be prettier than she is now and that she's gotten excessive plastic surgery. She's unbelievably deep in the most unique way. I know, she is a really good she's writer. Kind of, she's very expressive. She's kind of a philosopher yeah. of sorts. The philosopher of our age. Yes. The philosopher we deserve, <laughs> Yes, I think. Kind I, of I always appreciate her. she would her. say about Milo. Yes, yeah. yes. Like kind of in the same vein. I would be surprised if they weren't friends behind the scenes, actually, now that you mention it. Um, <laughs> so if you needed context, Charlie XCX is actually a friend of Maddie Healy's, uh, and he is the front man for the band The 1975. She is dating one of those bandmates. who They are childhood friends. I'm sure that they're pretty close. So he felt the need to come out and defend Charlie from Azalea Banks' insult. So here's what he responded. Azalea, you seem to have a blind spot when it comes to your reads. All the women you attack seem to be culturally relevant, attractive, divisive, and nice people. I think this makes you jealous because you're so talented, but everything else about you is a failure. Just rap, bro. So um, only in today's that was the beginning of the end for him. Uh, here's the thing: only in today's day and age do you get to make do, do you get to pontificate like that and think that you're not going to get some type of pushback. You mean Azalea he, Banks? No, or no, Maddie Healy? no, Maddie Healy. You think that he was expecting not to get pushback? I'm I'm saying that you can't say stuff like that and expect somebody not to respond back to you. Right, because then when he gets when she responds back to him, he's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry." Oh yeah, he backed down. Yeah, that's he the, backed the down is, in a very humiliating way. Unless you're willing to take the pushback, right? Just this is what we were talking about yesterday about like low impulse control mm -hmm. and the dopamine hit. Like you need to learn to to foster a world where you don't need to respond all the time. This is a prime example of someone, especially someone with a platform not knowing how to use the save to drafts button yeah. that feature is very important we need to we need to do a whole <laughs> video on the virtues yeah. of you know save to drafts yeah uh he also added on that point if i see one little shitbag twitter barista say one thing about my gabby ever he is referring to his fiance i will use my mental illness to full effect and i will dox and f you up I'm so over pretending we to have different standards online because it's not real. Um, um, again, the bravado is so unbelievably fake, it's not even funny. Well, that's exactly what Azalea Banks thought. So you're taking her side. She yes. said, that bitch looked like Frankenstein to me. You both look like you share needles, LMAO. What type of beep ass beep goes online and incriminates himself this way? LMFAO. A man could slap the shit out of Gabby, his fiance, and you wouldn't do a damn thing. You're too busy kissing men on stage for clout, which he actually did in a place where he was not supposed and to. And it do was that. illegal <laughs> and he got in trouble for it. Mm. Um, <laughs> then he responded to her saying, I know you think your life is some episode of the library is open, but I am not the one. Talk to me like that and I'm going to side eye you at an awards show. I'll effing slap you so hard, I'll get a Guinness World Record for the highest a rat some bitch calls a wig has ever flown. Threatening violence against women in 2024 from a dude. <laughs> Didn't have that one on the bingo card. He is really trying to do Azalea's thing. Yeah, and he can't. And it's not hitting. Because she's not going to apologize. It's he not will. hitting the same. 
he, he just like is trying to have the same level of literary excellence and bravado that Azalea Banks has, and it's just not hitting. Yep. So it's a little bit pathetic. Um, she said, yes, pay me. And then he backed down pathetically. He replied, nah, for real, I was just trying to match your vibe. I'm scared now. I'm sorry, bro. I was just sticking up for my mates. I'm not tough. LOL. Why would you do that? <laughs> and then he was, like, deleting all of his posts and being like, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything about hitting women. You know that was is? messed up. I'm really sorry. When you, when you <laughs> get into this type of back and forth, you need to, you can't think one step ahead. You have to think three steps ahead. Mm -hmm. Like what's going to happen if somebody does decide to strike back at you? And if you can't see yourself holding up your your comments and, and standing by them, best to just not say them at all. Uh, he also said, I can't be saying I'm going to hit a girl. That's insane. I'm sorry. You just can't keep being so mean about my mates and my misses. It's really hurtful. Gets me well defensive, in it. <laughs> <laughs> he's being very British about it. Yeah. Now he's asking if they can make a collab together. He's asking if they can make music together to, to work it catch out, up the beef. Work it out on the remix. Work it out on the remix, as Charlie XCX would say. Mm -hmm. So um, I honestly would love for that to happen. I don't think it's going to. But that would be the most entertaining outcome. No, that's outcome. even worse. It's the most nerdy, like, Hollywood way that this thing gets resolved, and I hate it. But he, he like, made his Twitter only a couple of months ago and has only posted 84 posts on the website, and this is what's happened so far. He clearly is not equipped for this. And then he, he ended this exchange by saying, I'm just having fun with my friends on the computer. Smiley face. Meanwhile, he's behind the screen crying. Literally nothing wrong with not posting at all. Like, <laughs> you don't need to do this. No, you don't not at all. You're already famous, bro. And if, if Azalea Banks is so irrelevant and mm -hmm. so such a failure, why do you need to defend anyone like from his, her? His best choice would have been to just mute. <laughs> mute and go away after she responded. But they both have pretty vocal social media platforms yeah. like i understand how this happened but um it's just not ending well for him he really embarrassed himself <laughs> so azalea banks she she went she got really harsh on him mm -hmm. she said stick up for these jibs dear they look she was referring to his teeth because he's British. They look like White Castle burger onions. It's clear you do not floss enough. Don't use the right toothpaste. Should quit cigarettes. And you wait till after coffee to brush your teeth. Your gums look inflamed like early signs of gingivitis. You must brush your teeth first thing in the AM because morning breath is not a result of having a closed mouth all night. It's actually the refuse from what your heart detoxes while, um, while you sleep. Hence plaque being a factor in... Atherosclerosis. When you drink hot Atherosclerosis. coffee on morning breath, as I can see you do, you slurp the detox right back down. Use Plax pre-brush rinse. Listerine Ultra Clean Floss as it will not lacerate your gums. Sensodyne Pro Namel Gentle Whitening. Crest and Colgate, Colgate are abrasive, making it easier for teeth to turn yellow. A Philips Electric Toothbrush and a Water Pick Flosser. You should really work on these teeth and try to hydrate a bit more. You look like your spit is salty. Best. <sighs> Best wishes. And people were like, people were saying like, the, the way some of you are reacting after what he said as if she didn't degrade his friend, call his fiance Frankenstein and mock his addiction. That's not the point. The point is, is like, if you're going to get involved in online flame wars, best yeah. be willing to leave your posts up. Also, he's saying, I'm tired of pretending that this stuff isn't real because it's on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Do you think he's right that he should be no, I think reacting that, this way? Or I think he's emotionally dysregulated and doesn't know how to stop himself from saying something that he doesn't have the heart to follow through on. I think he's right that people are more aggressive online and that they wouldn't say stuff like that to your face. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you go find them. That doesn't mean you dox people. That doesn't mean that you physically threaten them with violence. Mm -hmm. 
um this was him definitely in the wrong and i'm just saying that objectively because i'm a fan of them both yeah <laughs> you uh you're sad about the divorce i'm really sad about it i don't know who i want to have custody We'll, we'll sort it out on the remix. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.